G'day guys, me Damo and his brother-in-law Corey doing some good old-fashioned bait fishing today. We've got some scrubbies, some frozen shrimp tails, some alive shrimp, some yabby tails. I think we've got some cheese cubes. We're trying a bit of everything today. Let's just try and get a fish. Corey's going to pull in his little shrimp net here that he's thrown in the shallows with some dry cat food. Let's see if we've got any shrimp. Oh, I can hear them flipping and flopping. What have we got in there, Corey? Some oh, five or six or seven. Yeah, there's some good sized ones. A few little ones. Awesome. It's cool. Yeah. Throw it back out for now, I reckon. We'll use them if it's the other bait doesn't get any action. That's awesome. Getting a bite here. Damo's getting a bite, that one's getting a bite. We're getting plenty of action all at once, guys. So changing spots was definitely the right thing to do. Even though I forgot to film a scene saying we were changing spots. I may as well do that now. We spent an hour and a half at the last location. Didn't get even a sniff or a nibble. Not even a shrimp were biting on our worms. So we decided to drive up the road or down the road a bit, whichever way you want to think of it. And we've set up here for five minutes and we're getting bites on three different rods already. So we've definitely made the right choice. Hard to tell, the wind keeps moving. I've got really light line. That was an interesting bite. That was yours over there. It just went ding, ding, ding. That's gotta be a silver. Three individual, like that. Grab it, wind it in, quick, lift it up, wind. That's it, hold your rod tip up like that. Keep winding. Grab the net, Damo. Oh, there's a silver. <laughs> you bloody ripper. Well done. Listen, listen, listen. That's about 30 centimetres. It's called a grunter. Yeah, it is. Put your rod down for the for the white holder boat. Put it in the holder. Put it in the holder. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if it's Billy. Billy, because it's got very sharp. He's gone. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> yep. He's fine. Well done, bud. Um. Come back. He's tapped it since I picked it up here, but it was it wasn't enough to. No. Nah. Your bells are on the thing by over there. Yeah, I've got bells in my pocket, mate. I... I didn't... I didn't have a bite. He didn't even bite. Are you... Good job! I'm trying to record a video here and I can't even speak. You know, guys, how many fish have bitten and stolen my bait and ran away and been an utter pain in my backside today and this one I was just reeling into reposition and there's a tiny little silver perch on there you wouldn't even read about it alright I better get him unhooked and back out there thanks mate um yeah alright mate give him a kiss there we go no the, he swallowed the hook I mean <laughs> yeah no. You wouldn't read about it. Alright, I gave him a little kiss and I've bitten the line off as close to his mouth as I can there. He swallowed the hook unfortunately, but I'll get him back quickly and he should be fine. Off you go buddy. Look, there he goes. You... How mad are you? I could not write that. That was ridiculous. Well that was a weird day of fishing and this is an outro. See you in the next one.